A former governor of Ohio State, Rashid Ladoja, and the chief imam of the University of Ibadan, Professor Abdurrahman Oloyedi, say that Nigeria's state of affairs is fragile. Reacting to recent attacks on the advanced team convoy of President Buhari and Kujia Correctional Center, Abuja, Ladoja said bandits are oppressing Nigerians, which is threatening the security of lives and property of the people. Professor Oloyide, who is also a professor of Arabic and Islamic studies, called the Nigerians to be prayerful to prevent the country's collapse. Speaking with journalists at his Bodajara residence during the Eid celebration, former governor Ladoja called for religious tolerance, saying the adherents of Christianity are one. He noted that Nigerians are cautious of some faith candidates ahead of next year's presidential poll because of terror groups like Boko Haram and ISWAP operating under the cover of Islam. He said religious beliefs of the candidates wasn't a bother. It's a festival of sacrifice, and we must sacrifice, we must believe in God, that all God does is good for us. We must also know that uh, taking care of uh, the oppressed, the not, not well off, is a part of our job. And we must do it. They have something in common. They are selfish. They are there for their own in their own pocket. That is why I'm saying I'm still affirming that we need Allah to choose for us somebody who will have mercy on us, who will be very compassionate and be able to keep his promises. That's all. We have tried everything. There's no way we know who fulfilled the promise and who will not. There's no way. There's no way. Therefore, let us ask the person who sees the, the heart, who sees the inner mind to choose for us. That is my message. It's, also, it's, a, it's, it's, a, it's a call for concern. But uh, what can we do here? We can continue praying, but uh, only prayers will not solve you too. We have to educate our people to be vigilant. We have to become our brothers keepers. I mean, you see, it's, it's getting worse. The message is not going to be for the leaders alone, but for all of us Nigerians. Nigeria is on life support. It's melting away. All we can do is to start praying fervently. We have now seen that those in charge have lost control. So Nigeria is melting. So we need to pray and fervently too for Allah to, 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 to hold this nation for us. So we all need, all of us, irrespective of where we come from and what we believe, we must start praying lest we lose Nigeria. Hello. Hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.